Hello, and welcome back to Perfect Gold, the alchemy of happiness. We'll go right back into it with this kind of behavior is completely unacceptable by Buford. I expected better from both of you, especially from you, Miss Clary. What do you two have to say for yourselves? Oh. Is it a couple spat? Perhaps we could start with a lesson on civility. <laughs> Miss Clary, Miss LaRue, apologize to each other. <laughs> oh. What was that, Miss LaRue? I didn't start it, Professor, so why should I say sorry? Miss LaRue, when there is conflict, it is necessary for both parties to acknowledge their mistakes. The real mistake is letting Her Royal Highness over here run the place. Okay. Would you like to say that louder, Miss LaRue? No, Professor. Are you not going to apologize? Nope. Maybe Her Royal Highness should apologize. Her Royal Highness? So that's how it is. Who can play this game, LaRue? Miss Clary, would you like to say something? I stand by what I said earlier, Professor. Miss LaRue burned my book. She's the one who needs to apologize to me. Oh dear. Wow. Okay, first of all, you called my idea idiotic. I specifically said thoughtless, not idiotic. And then you just grabbed the rod without warning me, so what was I supposed to do? Well, I wasn't wrong, was I? You acted without thinking. Ladies! Oh dear. All I asked was for both of you to apologize to each other. Would it be so difficult for even just one of you to take accountability for your mistakes? Miss LaRue. It does not matter if you did not start it. You must either apologize to her, or at least offer to replace her book. Agreed. You are not in your little countryside barn anymore, Miss LaRue. Do try to act the part. Now that was just me. <clears throat> uh, family owns a laundromat, Professor. Like that makes a difference to you, Princess? Oh, it does, actually. But right now, I wish I didn't remember that her family owns a laundromat. I wish I did not know anything about her at all. As for you, Miss Clary. B yes, Professor? Is this the example you wish to set as a class representative? Or perhaps, as a Clary? Ooh. I... I cannot give LaRue the satisfaction of an apology from me. On the other hand, Professor Buford just brought up my family. I suppose I should tread carefully, shouldn't I? You're right, Professor. Miss LaRue, I apologize. Huh? Oh, she's going to remain headstrong about this? Well... I should have accepted we were bound to fail. Oh... I was insisted on a different partner. Who else are you going to get partnered with? No, except we're bound to fail. I should have just accepted that we were bound to fail. We would have not created the best potion for class, but at the very least, if I had stepped back and let Marion handle it, then maybe she wouldn't have burnt my book, so the cauldron wouldn't have exploded. Excuse me? Please, let me finish talking LaRue. If you remember clearly, I was trying to work with you, but despite my best efforts, you just assumed that I was shutting you down. Oh, honey, is constantly making condescending remarks your idea of trying to work with someone? Oh, you sound like what I say to my father. I wasn't. And now you're saying we were bound to fail. Really? <sighs> For a class rep, you sure are bad at listening to other people, princess. Okay, while we're here, you got any other insults you want to let out? Oh. I was not attacking your character, LaRue. I was simply musing on our differences and how I should have remembered them. 
It was also a Mars hour. With the Mars opposing Uranus transit, we were doomed to fail. I should have just let things happen naturally instead of assuming I could fix our inherent differences. Fix our inherent differences. I... <laughs> wow. You are so full of it, Miss Clary. Keep your apology. Sure, blame it on the Mars Hour or whatever. Blame it on everything and everyone but yourself, because you're so perfect. Isn't that right, Princess? Professor, I'm sorry. I, I can't do this. Professor? Oh? Yes, Miss Kang. Hello? Good morning, Professor. Hi, Miss Clary. Hi, Miss LaRue. Um... The Nightshade Club kind of had an accident, and Lisa, I mean, uh, Miss Peralta was sent to the infirmary, so Nurse Shao asked me to pass this report to you, Professor. You talk fast. Thank you, Miss Kang. Please wait for me outside. Okay, Professor. Bye, Miss Clary. Bye, Miss LaRue. Uh, see you later, Miss Clary? Uh, yes. See you later. Awesome! Uh, you're gonna love the sun cakes! Oh, you're pouring gasoline on a fire. Don't count on it, Miss Kang. Miss Clary and Miss LaRue will be spending the entire day in detention. What? Huh? Oh, but it's... Uh, that's... I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I'll just get you one of those sun cakes later, Miss Clary. Miss Kang. Yes, leaving now, Professor. <laughs> Bye! But professor you can't do that today's the sunflower festival. I already got plans Yes, I am aware of that your plans will simply have to be canceled today Both of you will write letters of apology to each other oh. But Professor please do not test what I can and cannot do miss LaRue. Sorry professor oh. If I may professor yes, miss Clary I missed out on the festival last year due to uh, unfavorable circumstances. Will it be possible for me to do detention next week instead? Don't try and weasel your way out of this. I could even go two Saturdays in a row just to make up for it, Professor. I'm afraid that's not possible, Miss Clary. I... I understand, Professor. Good. I want you two to reflect on how you could have reconciled your differences and what you aim to change about yourselves in order to work better with people. I will not accept half-hearted letters. I want genuine self-reflection. Is that clear? Yes, Professor. Yes, Professor. Unbelievable. I'm missing out on the festival for this crap again. Language, Miss LaRue. <clears throat> Your sister was never this difficult. Please try not to be remembered as the less likable LaRue. Again, that's rather mean. I'm sorry, Professor. Very well. I hope this serves as a lesson to both of you. You two are allowed to talk to each other, provided that you do so civilly. Good day, Miss LaRue. Miss Clary. Good day, Professor. Marion. What? I... I'm sorry about what Professor Buffour said about you and... Simone, I don't think they meant it, Marion. No, I think they did. No, they're right. I'm the difficult one. That's just how it is. You're not. I don't think you're... Spare me your pity, Princess. You got your apology letter to write, and I got mine. So let's just get this over with, okay? Ooh, it's not okay. But she's not going to listen, is she? So perhaps we really should just... Get this over with. Well, that chapter was fast. Jeez. That was like, that was like five minutes. Dear Miss Clary, I'm sorry you're such a stuck up little. Yeah, no, I don't think that's the type of genuine Buford wants from my letter. Dear Miss Clary, I'm sorry, you're such a selfish piece of... Okay, maybe not. She's not even writing anything, and I'm supposedly the troublemaker. Oh, crap. I shouldn't have made eye contact with her. Why do you keep staring at me? Need inspiration for your writing, Princess? Professor Buffour said we should be civil. This isn't civil to you? Spiteful flirtation. 
or whatever you call what you are doing, is not exactly my definition of civility, LaRue. LaRue? <laughs> Minutes ago she was calling me Marion, and now it's back to LaRue again. So much for thinking it might have actually been compassion. Well, Princess, maybe you and I just have very different definitions. Is that so? Then go ahead, what's your definition? Please enlighten me. I would, but I don't kiss and tell. Oh. I did not tell anyone about that day. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you didn't. I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if the rumors were true, it'd be embarrassing for a Clary, right? What do you mean by embarrassing for a Clary? Oh, Princess. Do the arithmancy. I'm a LaRue. The only other respectable LaRue is Simone, and she's, you know, a self-made entrepreneur from humble beginnings. Still need me to spell it out for you? I think I can do the rest of the arithmancy myself, LaRue. Huh, thought so. So anyway, I'm gonna level with you here. I don't want to write this crap. How surprising. Yeah, whatever. So what I'm telling you is that I don't want to write this, and I really don't want to spend the rest of the day cooped up in this classroom. Especially not when there's a festival waiting for me. How is this piece of information relevant to me? Well, you see, I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Is that so? Crap. Too late to turn back now, but I already said it. You can do this, it doesn't have to be weird. Really now? Y yeah She just had to do the thing. I had to say my name like that after an entire year. Get it together! <clears throat> uh, okay, so here's the thing. I'm getting out of here. Wanna... come with me? <laughs> You're asking me to escape with you. Curse my uncontrollable mouth. Yep. And why would you invite me? Yeah, Marion, why would you? Well, I'm not planning on spending the entire day with you. B but if I leave you here, you'll probably get bitter about staying behind and doing the good girl thing. So I might as well ask you to come with me. That's not a very sound argument, I'm afraid. Not a very sound argument, my foot. I stated facts. So inviting me just because you're afraid I'll squeal is a sound argument? Think of it this way. You don't have to miss out on the festival this year. Besides, we don't have to stick together. You can go hang out with, I don't know, Irene or whoever. Miss Kang. Look, do you really want to spend the entire day here? I mean, you do you and all that, but if you come with me, you won't have to walk around the city with your bodyguards. I'll stick with you until you find your friends. And, of course, when we get in trouble again for this, you can talk us out of it, I suppose. Maybe. Yep. That's right. That's right. Miss LaRue, you know the risks of escaping detention. I don't think she cares, Audrey. They could expel you. Us. For this. Us? So you are coming with me. You don't have to play coy with me, princess. That was hypothetical, LaRue. Mm. I'm asking you seriously. Do you really want to risk expulsion for a day trip with someone you do not even like? Oh, please, Princess. They're not gonna expel us. I'm the brightest elementalist they got here. And, well, you're kinda good at alchemy, too. Kinda good? Excuse me, I'm the top alchemist here. Yeah, cool, whatever. <coughs> but you know they're not gonna expel us, right? Before, we'll probably just send us to detention again, and then we'll end up having to write an essay on why we thought truancy was a good idea. LaRue? And at least next week, there's no festival to make us feel extra miserable. Well, okay, if you really don't want to, I don't need you to come with me anyway. You can blab to Professor before, I guess. Go! Make me look like the reckless rebel who made a dashing escape! While you, the lawful good damsel who will harm no one, struggled with your morality because stopping me would mean attacking me. It's the kind of narrative they like over here, so just roll with that. LaRue. I mean, sure, people will talk again, but that's alright because you get to- LaRue. I'm coming with you. Look, oh, you are? What's with the guitar? I mean, good. Awesome. Wise decision, your royal highness. 
Think of it as compensation for my book. Yeah, I guess. So I'm coming with you, but you will help me find Irene. Irene. <laughs> yeah, sure. The ever so pure and dainty Miss Irene Kang. But it's a date. Whatever. If I could have just a few hours at the festival today, that would be enough. Wait. What? Chickening out already, princess? No. Fill that bowl with water. Why should I? Please, just do it. All right. Let me just draw the sigil and... Hmm. Yes, this one works. Here's your water, princess. This good enough? Perfect. Okay, after that, a sprinkle of this. An illusion spell? In case someone passes by, it'll buy us some time. And for when someone notices... <laughs> of course, you'd be the type to add an alarm. Very vigilant of you, dear lawful good damsel. Maybe you're not so lawful after all. Maybe. Hey, I have my moments too. Oh, I know. I'm glad you still remember things about me. You two break up, or...? <laughs> Who said anything about remembering? All right, LaRue, I'll just take your word for it. Let me, let me actually ask that. What the hell happened between you two? Because we ended off on, like, you know, what you'd think would be the end of, like, a first novel. Oh, they got together on the bridge, finally, admitted they liked each other, and now it's just this. Yeah, I did not miss that smug smile at all. And done. What do you think? What? I would never wear bright blue eyeshadow. That is so tacky. <laughs> oh, so that's how we're doing this. Hey, don't do that. You know I would never wear a headband like that. Well... But you look so cute with cat ears. No, thank you. There, I fixed it. Are you happy now? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I guess this is okay. Admit it, LaRue. These are the most perfect copies you've ever seen. Whatever you say, princess. Let's go. By all means, lead the way. <laughs> all right, princess. The first day. Twenty months ago. What is with these time Welcome jumps? Welcome to the Lefay Academy of Magic. This is it. I I'm a Lefay student. Finally. I am Margot Before, head of the Alchemy Department. You may call me Professor Before. For today's orientation, you will be acquainted with the traditions of the Academy. Okay. In fact, starting today, you will begin preparations for one of the most important days of your life as a mage. The Luminance. The Luminance? Do tell. It's a highlight of the Burnished Moon Festival. I've only been to it once. When Simone was presented as one of the new elemental magic students, was her was her heart beating this fast too when she first heard about it? At the Luminance, you will demonstrate your magical abilities. You will be required to work on a collaborative exhibit with your classmates, but more importantly, you will also have an individual showcase. Oh. Be meticulous with your planning. Celebrated mages will be there, looking for new apprentices. To make sure the preparations go smoothly, we have assigned a class representative. Oh. She scored the highest in the entrance examinations, with outstanding recommendations from some of the best alchemy tutors here in Castle Coast. So this is the one I'm gonna have to watch out for, huh? In more ways than one, yes, Marion. And she's an alchemy student, too. <laughs> Typical. Whatever. I'll show them all what's up eventually. May I present to you your class representative, Miss Audrey Clary. Of course a Clary would get top marks. I'm surprised it wasn't Theo Wingrave. Please. Evelyn Clary was the only one who could keep up with Professor before at the summit. Uncle Harry said she was seething for weeks. You think she'd let her daughter get bested? 
Ooh. <laughs> fair point. <laughs> N not fair! She's, she's gorgeous. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to finally meet you all. I look forward to serving as your class representative this year. I've already discussed some of my plans with the faculty. We shall have the most memorable luminance yet. In order for the preparations to go along smoothly, I would like to ask for a volunteer assistant to help me with the logistics. Would anyone be interested in taking this job? Don't raise your hand, Marion. <laughs> but with that face, of course she I is. I volunteer! Of course you did. Uh, I mean, hi, I'm Marion LaRue, and I would love to be your assistant. Thank you very much, Miss LaRue. No problem. I really want us to have the most memorable luminance ever. I'm glad to know we're on the same page, Miss LaRue. Uh-huh. Very well. I shall leave the rest of the orientation to Professor Buffon. Professor? Professor Buffon. Thank you, Miss Clary. Uh, Andre Clary, huh? Ugh. Should have read those socialite magazines Simone kept sending along with the books. Pretty top notchers like her need to come with a warning. Okay. Focus, Marion. Focus. You're here to live your best life, not be distracted by some class representative. You got this. And so that concludes the introduction to Lefay's traditions. Mm -hmm. We shall now be taking a lunch break. Please be back here in an hour. Look at all these new faces. This is fine, Marion. You just... You just need to make new friends, that's all. Hey, guys. What an orientation, huh? I'm starving. You can't act like that. Wonder what good stuff they got oh, cooking God, in the no, guy, huh? no, Marion, I can't stand the way you're talking right now. I'm Marion LaRue, by the way. Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, we're heading to Leone's, actually. Oh. A five-star restaurant for their first day at Le Fay? Okay. Have fun, then. Maybe I should have gotten a summer job for some extra cash. Oh, well. Okay, Marion, you can do this. People love it when you're friendly, right? Right? Hey, guys. I'm Marion LaRue. You heading to the dining hall? Hey, uh... No, sorry. Oh. You guys going to Leone's, too? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, gotta go. Enjoy lunch. See ya. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be all alone, Marion. Yeah, so everyone's already got a friend to go to Leona's with. Guess that's one of the nice things about growing up here. Okay, Marion, just try- No, don't try again! Sit your ass down! You can do this. <sighs> hey! Ah, uh, Southerners. A bit over-enthusiastic, isn't she? She'd fit right in with the elemental mages. I'm not surprised. I was around when she moved in yesterday. Her entire family was there. They were all crying before they left. Can you believe that? And they were so loud. It was like one of those nasty circuses. Please let me punch this man. A circus. Were we really like that? No, no, he's just a dick. <laughs> That's kind of adorable, though. Oh, please, it was super tacky. Poor Audrey. Bet you 20 gold she'll quit because of that one. <clears throat> I don't suppose you were informed that gambling is illegal here in Lafay? Miss Clary, uh, hi. <laughs> I, I was just joking. <laughs> I know. But I'd advise you to be more careful with the things you talk about. After all, you wouldn't want the wrong person to overhear these things. It could reflect badly on you. Or worse. Yes, Miss Clary. Put him in his place. Up, go. See you, Miss Clary. Now I owe her something. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Would you like to have lunch together, by the way? Great, now I'm the class representative's charity case. Guess it's better than having lunch alone, though. Y you also did volunteer to be her assistant. Maybe that's part of it. Ugh. Don't ugh me. 
Lunch together sounds cool. Don't say I don't need a pity. Don't be rude. Sure. Lunch together sounds cool. But, uh... Hmm? What about your friends? My... friends? <laughs> well, how about this? Starting today, we are now friends. And besides, we'll be working together a lot. It'd be great for us to get to know each other. Seriously? She cannot be this nice. You're not gonna think that in 20 months. Probably gonna regret saying no, but... Do you wanna go to Leonie's? Sorry, but I don't have the money for that. No, I'd rather have lunch at the dining hall. Oh. Well then, okay. Let's have lunch together. Thank you so much, Miss Larue. <laughs> I should be the one thanking you. I'm the new girl, after oh. all. What the hell? So, what do you think they're serving for lunch? Oh, get ready for lots of pastries. Mm. Pastries, huh? What kind? Do they got cream or the ice? <laughs> I don't mind that at all. This isn't turning out as terrifying as I expected. Oh. Well, so that was the first time. The festival. Oh, I guess we're going to have flashbacks. I was going to say, the time is jumping all over, unless it is going to be present day. Okay, it is going to be jumping. Okay, but still. Uh, freedom! I will see you next time, though, because that is all the time I have before I got to go. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.